By now, you've probably figured out that OnePager can automatically group your activities and milestones into swim lanes using data you already have in your source file. Here is an example where the swim lanes are being grouped by the values found in the resource names column we have in project here. Each unique resource gets its own swim lane. OnePager can also display up to five fields or columns of data from your source file to the right of the swim lanes column in the chart like you see here in this example. The settings to control your swim lanes and the additional columns in OnePager are in the Rows and Swim Lanes tab of the Project View Properties. We're going to go top to bottom here, but as with all the settings in the Project View Properties, we encourage you to tinker with each to get to know better what they can do. The top section of this tab controls how many rows appear in your chart. This radio button here called Collect Tasks into Rows By will automatically collect your shapes into a single row using common values in a field of your choosing. Collect Tasks automatically will avoid shapes overlapping, while Collect up to N tasks per row will ignore overlap and put up to the designated number of shapes you input into a given row. This setting here, Group Rows into Swim Lanes By, will tell OnePager which field from your source file you want OnePager to use to automatically group your shapes into the swim lanes. This is the main setting. There is a separate checkbox below to turn the swim lane labels off and on. If you uncheck this box, but keep the Group Rows into Swim Lanes box checked, the grouping will occur, but you will not see the swim lane labels column in the chart. Additionally, you can group by one field and decide you might want to use a different field for the swim lane label values. The five additional columns can be turned on and controlled individually by checking this box, then pushing the Text Column Properties button to open the Custom Text Columns form. Check the Show This box on each of the five tabs to display the column, and use the Field Chooser drop-down to decide what field from your source file you'd like displayed. Below are controls for ordering swim lanes and rows, as well as the on-off and formatting of swim lane and row borders. Rows and swim lanes can be reorganized with drag and drop on the fly if needed. The labels can be overwritten with a double click. And individual properties can be modified after a single or multiple selection by using a right click. As I said before, the best way to realize the flexibility with rows and swim lanes is to tinker, be brave, and explore. Please visit our other instructional videos at onepager.com forward slash support. Or if you have a question, you can email us at support at onepager.com and we'll be happy to assist you.